take the oath. Join the adventure as Steven Spielberg presents The Goonies. Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host Chris, as usual. And in this uh, special episode, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Goonies Never Say Die game uh, from Funko Games. It's been available uh, in the States now for a while, but... Um, it was very expensive to buy and just the shipping to get off eBay, the shipping to the UK uh, was about 35 quid. Um, and then um, it's now been released uh, here in Europe and I got this uh, for £25, which seems an absolute bargain. So without any further ado, let's uh, see if uh, in the immortal words of Cindy Lauper, uh, whether or not the Goonies Never Say Die game is good enough. So as you can see, we've got the Goonies Never Say Die game. It says it's for ages uh, 12 and up, 2 to 5 players, an adventure game by Prospero Hall from Funko Games. Uh, the sides, uh, pretty much just the same thing. Gorgeous bit of artwork on the front there uh, with, uh, we've got Data and Chunk and Mouth and Mikey by the looks of it, with the... Um, was it the restaurant and the and the rock out at sea forming uh forming the skull uh silhouette as well very nice um on the back we can see uh the fratellis up here we've got um it's like a sort of uh like a dungeon master screen like out of dungeons and dragons um i think someone gets to play as uh, as the goon dock master i think they call it um who is controlling the, the fratellis and the bad guys um trying to stop the other players achieving their goals obviously we've got the board here we'll take a look at that uh more closely in a second and it includes eight miniatures um which uh look quite nice there hopefully not sure what the sculpts are like hopefully they'll be well worth uh painting up so let's get this open and see what we've got inside right it's quite a um it's quite a hefty box it's quite chunky um heavier than i thought it was going to be so hopefully there's some good components inside let's see what we've got okay first of all this uh, is obviously the board that's sealed up and we've got here the quote don't you realize the next time you see sky it'll be over another town the next time you take a test it'll be in some other school our parents they want the best of stuff for us but right now They've got to do what's right for them because it's their time, their time up there, down here. It's our time. It's our time down here. Mike, Mikey Walsh there. Uh, we'll take a look at the board uh, in a minute. Uh, it's got some uh, artwork on the back. We'll take a closer look at that. Once you see what else we've got inside. Um, yeah, this was the, uh, say the, the GM screen um, that's made to look like the classic uh, Goonies map there. Um, which is really nicely done um, and it's obviously got instructions uh, on how how the rounds uh, progress we've got the notes at the top there which is a nice touch from where they're playing the big uh, organ made of bones um, some reference guides uh, for the uh, for the gm to use as well and obviously they stand they stand that up like that um, whilst they're controlling their fratellis Uh, the adventure guide basically the instructions for the goondock master's eyes only so um, we won't look at that too heavily at the moment so goonies never say die on the back so that's obviously how to run the game but as i say that's for the guy in charge oh so here's the actual instructions uh, for everybody else got the uh, nice artwork of the uh, the key there on the front uh, list of all the components, everything we've got, and how to set uh, the game up. Actually playing the game, um, taking turns, and what everything means. Uh, Goonies round, so presumably what the Goonies do um, when it's their turn. And just general what search actions, attacking uh, treasure actions. Uh, the GM round, so explaining a bit of what the uh, the GM gets up to. Um, end is nigh rolls, uh, winning the game, um, and then telling a bit about environmental tokens and what's going on with those. 
any uh, frequently asked questions on the back. So we have got some counters here um, to be punched out. We looks like we've got some uh, treasure chests. Uh, what are these? Bat swarms, uh, skeletons, a pirate ghost. So obviously leaning heavily into the uh, the uh, more sort of uh, pirate myths uh, of Goonies. There. Oh, we've got on this one. Uh, a sand timer. I think that's um, how the, the GM measures uh, the rounds and how long the game has left to go. Um, what have we got here? The uh, Merfolk Octopus Temple. Ah, so there's obviously um, there's obviously some other bad guys, presumably that the Goonies um, have to face as well. And the octopus um, being famously uh, one of the deleted scenes from the film. Uh, I think Data does mention it at the end to the adults when he explains what they've been going through. But um, yeah, it, oh, it's on the DVD and there was an actual octopus as well, um, which attacks them uh, when they're getting on uh, board the pirate ship. So then we've got uh, some cards. Oh, there we go. Giant octopus. And we'll open those up um, and have a look. So these are obviously the character cards. We've got Mikey and Mouth and Chunk and Data, one of my favourites. Uh, Sloth as well. Always good to see. There's the Fratellis. One-eyed Willy, uh, the pirate himself. Um, Obviously, he's obviously doing a lot more in the game than he does in the film, and the uh, and I say the aforementioned giant octopus as well. Lovely artwork on all of these as well. A really good design of this. Uh, some GM cards, obviously for the GM. Let's take a quick look. Right, we won't look too closely at these just in case there's stuff there that gives away the secrets that the uh, GM should be keeping. There's obviously um, cards. To remind players of what they do um, in there during the rounds, we've got falling boulders, um, spooked, and the falling boulder, dreadful momentum, falling boulders again, lots of falling boulders, more dreadful momentum, flash floods, uh, they're coming, there's a Fratelli. So, yeah, lots of good stuff and events there and things that the uh, GM is going to inflict upon the Goonies. Um, some riddle cards here, let's open those up. And just some cards here, things what we got here, disarm, snarky remark, uh, a card for Steph, what does it say, flip down uh, to add uh, an emerald gem or something to any search, check, so sort of some cards that um, are sirens, pearls, uh, discard to throw into the moss garden wishing well, so obviously some item cards and things, events um, that you use throughout the game, and um, we have got uh, some dice with uh, bones and skulls on them uh, some more some red dice there probably presumably used for combat and again some more uh, green dice as well lovely always good to have more dice uh, some plastic stands uh, i think these are for some of i think there's some of the punch out uh, cardboard parts um i think there's some rats something in the various skeleton warriors and things like that uh, always nice to have they um, start when they give you all the spare plastic bags that once you've punched all the uh, the counters out and um, you can put them in these which is always nice and then uh, here's one of my favorite things uh the various different minis so uh let's have a quick look what we've got in here so first of all here we've got the uh the giant octopus if i can go there in focus uh, that's quite nice Uh, sloth seems to be bending forward here and his base is a bit warped um, I have to get the uh, the hair dryer I think that will focus in there um, yeah get the hair dryer with some hot water on that get him back into shape this is uh, Mikey I think holding yeah I think holding the map And that's uh, data. That's, uh, mouth by the looks of it. 
Uh, that's Chiang, and I'm wearing his pirate hat. Uh, One-eyed Willy uh, himself there. Again, he's all sort of bent backwards as well. It's going to need some uh, some heating up to get him back into position. And the the uh, the Fratellis as well, um, which the again the base is all bent. That's going to have to. Hopefully, that's going to bend back out like that. Um, so a bit of heat on that, and uh, get that in shape as well. But the actual um, the actual detail on them is quite nice. Um, they're going to be quite quite fun to paint. Um, lastly, I'll just point out the nice, um, really, some really nice artwork on the inside of the box as well, um, showing various different things, pirates and candy bars and uh, uh, props and stuff from the film, Data's uh, boxing glove uh, on a spring device as well. Um, the game remi um, so the design reminds me of um, the Ravensburger, uh, the Jaws game and Fate of Nostromo game, which are absolutely like beautifully designed, say, down to down to this artwork uh, inside the box as well and um and the cover art which is all done really nicely so yeah looking forward to uh, playing this uh, so that's the back of the board that we saw a bit of before um just saying some nice artwork showing the uh the where the film was set in uh, a story i think it is um, and the bike that uh, the brand steals and goes uh hooning off um chasing them and there's the main playing board there depicting all the uh, caverns and various uh, underground uh, places uh, within Astoria where, um, where our goonies are going to come up against uh, the Fratellis and uh, pirate ghosts by the looks of it and obviously the giant octopus as well. So yeah, can't wait to get stuck into this. Yeah, just reading this little part here in the, uh, in the, uh, the Goondock Masters book um it says optional storytelling uh, the gm may set the scene and add excitement by describing the events of the game as they happen uh, they could do this when activating foes playing cards and revealing information from the adventure guide for example if the gm places the flooded token in a room they might describe how the goonies see a small puddle forming in the center of the floor and before the goonies know it they are knee deep in muddy water if all players agree the gm could also keep the item and treasure decks behind the gm screen so they may reveal cards the goonies get from searching as part of the story have fun with it um so yeah it sort of seems that um almost like a sort of introduction to a sort of Dungeons and Dragons role playing style game so you can obviously just play it as a straightforward ball game or if you're into that sort of thing say the the GM can obviously make it more of a storytelling experience as well instead of just turning a card over they can you know give you some give you some background and describe um what's going on about it um with it if uh, if if that's your thing so yeah looking uh, looking forward to getting uh, stuck into this um it, it all looks very nice except say Apart from some of the uh, the minis um, being a bit bent out of shape, hopefully they'll all um, they'll all say get heated up and bend normal. Hopefully with a bit of heat, um, they'll all go back into shape, um, and hopefully I should be able to paint those up nicely. Um, so yes, thanks for watching this unboxing of the Goonies uh, Never Say Die game by Funko. And uh, till next time, eat geek and be merry.